thank you for joining me for joining me once again and I hope you had an amazing time because I did so a few nights ago I had this dream where I took a flight by myself into a totally different country that did not does not really exist in real life and so in this video in this ASMR video I'm gonna make you guys experience this dream in your perspective the same dream that I had of going to a brand new country a non-existing one okay non-existent all right so Without further ado, let's get started with this video. So your dream starts. You happen to be in your country, in your city at first, and you decide to take on a trip to somewhere else so you happen to go to your local airport and you happen to take a book of flights and you pack your stuff okay it's, you don't remember what stuff you packed but you remember you did not bring that many stuff you didn't bring too much luggage just your bag all right hand carry so you go to the airport it is very empty you don't really remember the, the outlook the layout of the airport of the airport of the airport because it is not as important as what's gonna happen next so the next thing you remember is you're at a plane and your plane takes off from your city and you start to fly in midair you start to see all these blue the white clouds that soon passed you and the city building is getting smaller and the cars resembling dots This is a $5 bill. This is the back of the $5 bill. And this is the front of the $5 bill. A Canadian one. But that's not important. So, as you are starting to fly, you notice the shape of your city. Your shitty? No, it is. Yeah, I made a typo. But a I had a shitty day today, but the other day was amazing. So, city, that's what I meant. So the city that you were living in, that you live in, is now really small, right below you. For example, my city that I live in is in Montreal, 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 Quebec. And now it looks like like the whole city is right below you, right below you, right below you. Okay. Alright, I'm flying right now, and so are you. So you are flying your plane. Not really flying your plane, you are riding the plane. And the city is like right behind you, and then you don't remember what's after the flight because the flight was not eventful. It was kind of a boring flight. Nothing too special in particular. So you don't really remember which way you're going. East, west, south, or north. But you do remember that the flight wasn't very long. 
it was not like an 18 hour flight where you spent some time asleep or you had to eat one of those airplane food that they, that they serve in little trays. Yum, yum, yum. So the flight was pretty uneventful. So you don't even remember that you landed at another airport or the country that of destination the country of destination like you don't even remember that you went you just somehow forgot about the flight and you just happened to end up on the lands of on another country all right as if as if you kind of skipped on the airport that you landed on so you did not even remember the airport that you ended up at at your destination at your destination at your destination all right yeah. all right so now you are at the place of your destination so it looks like you are at another city, another city, and this is a place. It looks like a European place. Like you've got these old buildings. You got these gravel roads with these like stone that's made out of like a stone, like roads that are made like as if they come from the 1950s. Or something similar and all these lampposts were kind of placed on along the side like as if you went back in time so it's kind of like an European country like Germany or France or England you just see those grouped buildings that are like blocked and side by side and you happen to walk down one of the streets of the new place that you have arrived the new place that you have arrived okay and so this place you don't even know the name of the country and you want to explore more and all you just see are the same buildings and you try to talk to another person and you ask where are you where am i i mean where am i or something like that but what they respond is something in another language they responded to me something like words that i can't even recognize it's like as if they speak like a language that you've never heard before and so you see other people moving along and walking along and some of them are in couples some of them hang with other groups of people i'm assuming just friends friend groups hanging around and are talking in a different language and the thing is that it is not it is not French, it's not English, it is not Germany, it's not German, I mean, it's not German. I don't know why I said the country Germany, but they don't speak German, it's not German, it's not French, it's not Russian, it's not Norwegian, it's not Italian, it's neither of these European countries. It is a totally different language. So you can't really communicate with these people. This is a toonie, a two dollar coin. I have four of them here. Okay, let's put this inside here. All right, it's better. So 
so. All right, another breath. So, it is suddenly cloudy. Like it was sunny before, but it was all cloudy. All right. So, it was really cloudy. Very cloudy, very, very cloudy. And it started to rain. Like big droplets. The thing is that you don't know why it's raining, but like, you don't know. Like it's normal that it's raining, but what is not normal, what is not normal, is that it was raining something other than water. It was raining gel, 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 gel. Like it was not raining water, but it was raining gel. And the rain keeps pouring down, and the drops that hit you are pretty heavy, like it splashes you. Like one drop is big, but the thing is that these drops are like more, not as numerous as the ones in the rain. Like there were few drops, but there were very, 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 very large, large drops. Very, very, very large drops, okay. Very large drops. And, and as you walk, you sometimes see those huge balls of gel, and you happen to pick one up. You happen to pick one piece of jelly. It was like a handful. Okay. Whoops. All right. And you don't know why, but the, but the, but the, but the gel feels like it's stuck together. Just like jelly is, so it's not really like water, but it acts like water. Like it, you try to taste it, but you don't remember that you tried to taste it actually. But you can tell it is tasteless because it does not have any smell, and it has kind of the same properties of water, only that it is like gel, and it is not cold. It is just like. A semi, a semi liquid form. All right. So after this part, you now are lost in this new country that you are in, and the place is slowly getting dark because now. It is getting late during the day, and you start to wander around aimlessly, trying to find, 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 trying to find where you are. And you try to find yourself, but to no avail. You can't seem to find. So at one point, you go to a house that looks kind of familiar to like a restaurant or a place, but as you go into it, you realize that it is an abandoned house that looks run down. <coughs> Like as if no one has lived in there, has lived there for many years, and you could see plants that are seeping into the building, like nature taking over this place, and there are no window glasses at all. You somehow stumble across someone else that came to that abandoned so-called building. He tried to ask for help, but all he said is, "You will learn," or something like that. And you happen to create 
like strike a tiny conversation or things like how long have you lived in this area and he says something like a short while or I've been doing a lot of teaching or something and somehow this building looks like a tower it ends up being a tower where there are many floors and it has a lot of art canvases as if he is teaching art class but with the language that he's communicating you cannot really discern what he's saying because you don't understand no word and it, yeah it's just a different random language that does not really exist in real life you can't even remember any of the words anyone has said in this country this random country that you are at at this stream all right let me get something really quickly all right i'll take some understand what that person is saying to you but you kind of start thinking that he's teaching a class but it's like an art class because all you see are canvases and the other floors of the tower and he thought that this tower is an abandoned bill an abandoned ban abandoned abandoned building but somehow it is part of the nature of art with all these trees and plants that wrap around this building so yeah so as he's just like teaching something so eventually you try to ask him again how can i how can i learn to live in that place or leave i mean more not live but leave because he says that he says something that lives but he says a few english words but other than that the languages that he speak the language that he speak is the same i assume it's the same random language <laughs> but the only other english words he said is you will learn <laughs> All right, so eventually he leaves, but the way he leaves is kind of bizarre. He takes a stick, he puts it on one of the windows, he hooks it to some form of hook, and he takes like a string, and it looks like he has risen himself onto that pole or stick, and he leaps out like a zip line and he takes a swipe i mean he takes it he grabs onto the handle and he moves out of the window like a zip line and so after this point after this point after this point you somehow forget the rest of the dream but somehow you happen to return to the city that you came from the real city that you live in and it, somehow it is it has the same weather pretty cloudy that rains like gel and all of a sudden you are back at at your city that you live in real life but in your dream you're still in your dream <laughs> and so you are now at a random point in your city but somehow you don't have anything with you you just have your bag but you don't have your phone somehow 
he just happened to be at another random part. You don't even remember your return flight or how, what other method you took to come back to your other, that your, that your original city, that your home, like come back home, come back home, come back home. Yeah, you don't remember, you don't remember your return trip back home. And so now, you're lost, and somehow, your next stop is to try to find a subway, we call it a metro here in Canada, and you happen to struggle to find the next, the nearest subway station, your nearest metro station. You happen to walk down aimlessly or across different blocks of your city and to no avail you happen to not remember where is your next where is the next the nearest I mean the nearest metro station and somehow after that you don't remember anything else and you happen to wake up. So that is it for this imagination dream experience. I hope you got in your tingles and I hope you liked your imagination experience where I make you guys experience my dream of being in a totally different country where you don't know anybody and how the language they speak. And if you get your tingles, so if you get your tingles, Please drop a like in this video. Leave a comment if you have experienced a similar dream like this one where you've been to a totally different country. And I would like to share, I'd like to see your experiences, any similar experiences that you had. And so, if you're new to this channel, I make ASMR for minute videos all the way from ASMR dream imagination stories to ASMR fact telling stories and sometimes I make ASMR gaming videos and coding and typing videos where I type with my keyboard and make noises and so stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you next time.